Okay, the reason I'm out here in the woods, I want to show you something I've never seen before. And I never even thought about it. I just never knew that this happened. But anyway, here we go. I hope you can see this. I've already tried a couple of times to focus in on this thing. So here's my finger right here. It's that little tan spider. And it's eating that other spider. Well, when I came out here, I saw that spider hanging there dead, and I touched him, and when I did, that little tan thing came out. And I thought, oh, no, so a bad spider got in my spider's web and ate him. But that's the spider. He's eating his exoskeleton. It's like uh, I never thought about it before. We used to go get crabs out of the water at night, and uh, crabs would shed their their shells and so you'd get a soft shell crab you could just eat the whole thing basically and you just take them and fry them and they're they're really good but you know it's kind of cruel but uh, it was good and I just never thought you know that spiders are the same thing as a crab so I guess he just had to shed his his shell in a little while I'll come back and he'll probably be the uh, the regular color those are like we call them banana spiders because they're yellow but they're, I think the real name is golden silk spider anyway that's the that's today's nature lesson it looks like he's eating his old skin you know it's like uh, every day they make a web but they basically eat the old web to make the new web and it's the only way to clean them you know webs get filled with uh, with dust and they don't they're not as sticky as they should be so the spider just eats the whole thing and I guess poops out the dust and spins web with his old web I always like if I accidentally run through one of these things I'll try to like you know you'll be walking along and you feel a spy a spider web and you push it aside and later you see the spider crawling on you I'll always try to bring them back to their original web so they can eat it <clears throat> I'll show you what some of these these things look like because we get them like a it's it's like a plague every year they come along and I, I've, you'll see these little bitty spiders and then a couple of days later you'll come and you'll see a bigger spider and a couple of days after that you come, see he's a little he's agitated because I'm close to or she she's agitated the the males always stay teeny tiny but the females get ginormous so uh, the, these woods will be filled with these big yellow spiders oh here's one got him a, a big old oh it's a ch cicada he's eating that cicada those are the, those shed, shed their skins too the cicadas will land on an oak and they'll just climb out and so you'll find their shell sitting there it's like a bug with his back ripped open or just a, just a shell of the cicada look this one over here spinning a web They'll go around and around in a circle. Let's see. Now he stopped because I'm he knows I'm looking at him. Oh well, that's your lesson. That's the nature lesson for the day. We've got hundreds of these things. Uh, thousands. Bye bye.